But we begin with new information about the impacts on our water quality nearly one week after the leak at the Piney Point plant was discovered. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. Just moments ago, the Department of Environmental Protection released an update saying the water in Tampa Bay is testing okay right now, but they do say the water at the discharge point at Port Manatee is testing high in phosphorus. And that news comes as another group of scientists returns from the first day out on the bay analyzing samples of water to understand the other environmental impacts. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull live in St. Pete for us where that team just got back. Haley. Wendy, that's right. You can see their research vessel right behind me. They got back here just a couple of hours ago. This ship was used in the wake of the Deepwater Horizon spill and is now being put to use to help do a complete round of sampling in the wake of Piney Point. The vessel from the Florida Institute of Oceanography took off early this morning with a variety of scientists from USF on board. They're looking at the water, sediment and wildlife. Specifically, they collected samples to look at the water chemistry, fish, bottom sediments, phytoplankton and microorganisms. We know that some of this is not going to be good and um, but we don't know the extent and so we had to provide the assets, the, the platforms to get those scientists out there so that they can do their job. No indication that there was, you know, a, a recognizable discoloration of the water, you know, other than right perhaps around the Port Manatee area. So uh, again, that's why you take those samples, right? Because a lot of the story is actually in the chemistry and the dissolved components. And what they're looking at is in part the long term environmental impact of that discharged water on the bay. Now it will take some time to get the results. They'll also look at the way the water moves and if more sampling is needed and if so expand that area. The scientists tell us they do plan to go back out tomorrow and in the days ahead. We'll of course keep you updated reporting live in St. Petersburg. Haley Bull, ABC Action News.